lovely female formed I have a normal looking just don't have you know and everyone that asked me how I pee just stupid as shit. So just please shut up. Hello, bear with me while I explain to you my birth defect. So I was born without a vagina or uterus. It's called MRKH. Uh, I figured out when I was 16 years old. I'm currently 17. Figured out about five months ago. I was 16 years old, never got my period. They took me to the doctor. Yeah, whole thing. I think every girl with MRKH has a horror story about it. I don't really know exactly what happened when I was forming my mommy's tummy, but I never formed a reproductive system, so. Obviously, I'm still a girl. I get so many questions, like, some people will be like, are you inner <laughs> Like, no, I'm a girl. I have all my chromosomes. <laughs> Fully female, formed <laughs> I have a normal looking <laughs> Just don't have the vagina. <laughs> and it like goes in like, they say between your first, like, it's like this. It goes in, like, this much. So they call it a bad dimple. And obviously being 16 years old and hearing this is very hard. And for everyone in my comment section that says that I should be, I'm, like, lucky that I have this. And that they wish they didn't have a uterus. Like, no, you don't. I obviously can never have kids. I feel like that's pretty common sense. And everyone that asked me how I pee just stupid as shit, so just please shut up and yeah any other questions let me know and like another big thing is that like i can't have shit. i don't know it's just like yeah and obviously like i said like everyone has horror stories where you like think you're having shit, like you're not good thing boys are stupid as shit. it's just not easy thing but if anyone out there has it I feel your pain and my DMs are always open. It's like one of those things where you're a bit like, what? <laughs> that is so insane. I think like that must be really hard, especially 16 years old with your hormones and stuff. And you figure out like, why have I not got my period? Like, all my friends have got my period like from three, four years ago. And you feel really left out. And I think as well, like with all your friends having sex and, you know, getting intimate with boys and girls. I think it's a lot to deal with as a teenager. And I think as a woman as well, developing your body into a woman's body you're like what and you go get that checked and you know you find out you have no uterus which is just such a massive hit in the face because a lot of women their rights are about the uterus it's a lot about period cramps it's a lot about like bloating and you know inf infertility and all those sort of struggles and i think she's just plain right be told you don't have you will never have any of that and i think it's like a right has been taken away from her so i think just from hearing her story, I just feel really sorry and I just want to give her a hug. I, I think it must be really difficult to go through and to hear that, especially at 16 years old, and to only find out five minutes ago as well. That's really hard and that's really tough to even understand and grasp. And I feel like as well quite embarrassing for herself, to, you know, to be like, if she meets a boy, because she's so clearly very pretty and attractive and she seems funny as well. That's a great personality to have into that. So it's like to meet a boy or a girl and they're like, okay, let's like maybe get a bit intimate, you know, develop feelings stronger. To her to be like, like mm, I'm sorry, I can't have sex. I think it's just embarrassing for herself. I think she'll feel really embarrassed, but she shouldn't be embarrassed. I think at the end of the day, it's something she can't control. It can't stop you from just being yourself and falling in love and having, you know, life and there's so many great incredible options out there like adoption surrogacy billions and trillions of different options you can go through so it sucks to be told you never have kids at the age of 16. it's difficult